All right, fam, we're back with part two on this quest for quality audio. Again, we're using the Rode Wireless Go 2, and my recording device is the iPhone 11. I went ahead and did some tinkering with the settings on both the iPhone and the receiver for the Rode Wireless Go 2, and I've come across some interesting results. So let's go ahead and get into that. Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Larry Ra, and if you are interested in visual arts, art products, and service reviews, and of course, fatherhood, welcome home. You're in the right place. Go ahead and drop a subscribe, and if this video adds anything of value to your life, leave me a like on the way out. Let's get into it. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna cut all of the background music completely off. We're gonna do a little bit of tinkering, I want y'all to really hear the differences, if there's any differences, in any of the changes that I'm making. So, first things first, turning off the record stereo sound option in your phone is gonna clean up your audio a little bit. So that's gonna be going into the settings, camera, and then when you see it says record stereo sound, turn that off and listen up to the difference. This is the audio with record stereo sound off. This is the audio we record stereo sound on. When I was using the Rode Wireless Go version one, I always had the integrated gain setting on the receiver set to one out of three. To change the setting, grab the receiver, check the bottom of it, and you'll see a button labeled DB. Tap on that button a few times, and you'll see that the gain setting is changing from one to two to three. Now, two seems to work best on the Rode Wireless Go two. So y'all listen up, let me show y'all what this sounds like. This is the audio on gain setting one. This is the audio on gain setting two. This is the audio on gain setting three. And the last change we're gonna go over today, which may be a huge change or a small change depending on you, is just to move your transmitter around so that it can pick up your voice better. Now see me, I use the ace bandage and I clip the transmitter to my chest. This is how I mic up to record all of my videos. So this is the audio under my voice. This is the audio in front of my voice. And this is the audio behind my voice, in case you want to tip it to the back of your collar. All right, family, I appreciate y'all checking in. That's all I got for y'all today. And depending on the quality of this video, I may just do a part three, where I explore the lavalier mics and the post-editing programs. But until then, I've been Larry Ra. Peace.